Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to do a devotional with you coming from the book of Psalms, chapter one. And it reads, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. For his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. All right. So I want to encourage everybody with the word of the Lord as you go about and start your day. So let's go back to verse one. It says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners. So basically what, what the word of God is saying from Psalms one, God is just giving us, uh, giving us instructions to not follow after the ways of people that's evil or to not let evil or people that do evil have influence over our life and impact what we do. It says, blessed is the man who does not sit in the seat of the scornful. So basically God is saying to, to, for us to wake up to, and to know who we are, to not allow wickedness to influence our lives in a way that it takes us off and we start following wicked ways instead of the ways of truth. But let's go on to verse two. It says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. So basically what God is saying is for us to delight ourselves in his words, delight ourselves in his, in his law, in the instruction that he gives us. And God, God speaks, every day God speaks to every human being. God speaks to our hearts. So God's, God's law is his word that speaks to our hearts. And God is saying for God is saying we'll be blessed when we delight in the word of God. When God speaks to us and we hear him, we should obey God. And God says in his, and it says in his law he meditates day and night. So God wants us to have our minds stayed upon him. No matter what we're doing in life, God wants us to have our minds stayed upon him. And it says verse 3 if you do that, if you keep your mind stayed upon God, if you obey God's voice, when you know God's speaking to you in whatever way, form or fashion that God could be speaking to you. He says, you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. So basically, God wants to make his people blessed. God wants God wants to he wants to make you like a tree. He wants you to make you strong. To, to know who you are. He wants to make you firm. God wants to establish you in the earth as somebody because God created every man, woman, and child. He created with a purpose. Just like God created everything in creation, he created the sun, moon, and stars. Each created thing has a purpose. God also has a purpose for his people. God, say, God says we'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. So this is all coming out of verse two, when God is telling us to keep our minds stayed on him, to love his word, because God, because God plans us, plans to bring, bring us into this blessed place to where his blessings are always flowing in our, in our life, like the river to where we're, to where we're able to, you know, see God's goodness and tap into it. And, and it says that we will bring forth our fruit in our season. So basically, whatever season God has you in in life or whatever place God has you in in life, you're able to live out your full potential in God. You're able to fulfill the purpose that God has for you because, because you honor God, because you honor his voice, you honor his, his word that's speaking to you. God's going to honor you. He's going to make sure that you bear your fruit. He's going to make sure that you have the things that you need to have in your life. He's going to make sure that you are blessed because when you, when you come under God, God is the blessed one. And when you come under God and when you acknowledge that God is sovereign in your life, when you acknowledge his voice and you make a, a habit out of obeying God's voice, when you know he's speaking to you, God is going to bless you. He's going to make sure that you have more than enough. He's going to make sure that you have abundance. 
He's going to make sure he's going to make you like that tree that bears its fruit in its season. So whatever place God has you in your life, you're not going to be unfruitful, but you're going to be very fruitful. You're going to you're going to know and understand what the will of God is for your life. And it all comes through giving your heart to God, giving your mind to God, giving your soul to God, being that person who loves God. Who, who loves the word of God. When they hear the word of God, they stop and acknowledge the word of God and take the word of God, apply it to your life, meditate on the word of God, be led by the word of God, plan your life according to what God says. Let your life be led and planned out by the master because God is the master. He knows what ways are best for his people. God knows us how to get us from point A, B to C faster than we know how to get from point A to B and C. But it's through following his word, following his word, his instruction. His instruction is wisdom. His instruction, his instruction is what leads us to the rivers of water. It's what leads us to life. It's what gives us the ability to thrive and prosper on a higher level. Operating according to the law of God, that's wisdom. So let's get back to verse three. It says, whose leaf also shall not wither. So that's this is just God's plan. He wants to have you in it. He, he wants to have his people in such a blessed place to where we're always fruitful because we're always being led by his voice. And he, God has avenue and he has... He has his way in our life to where our, we're always in a we're always in a blessed place. We're always in a blessed season to the point where it's not us working and doing the work, but it's God Himself that's working for us and in us. Because, like I said before, God will work for you if you honor God. If you if you bow down and submit to the Lord and say and understand that you yourself are not your own God, but there's a high authority. When you come up under that higher authority, then God has all avenue to bless you. When you come up under his authority, when you acknowledge his sovereignty, not just with your mouth, but with your heart. When you truly delight yourself in God, when you truly, you know, you know, give yourself mind, body and soul. When you truly love the Lord, the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, body and soul. And the end of verse three says, Whatever he does shall prosper. So when you live like that, whatever you whatever you put your hand to is going to going to prosper because you're living up under the blessed one. You're living up under the blessing and the anointing of God when you seek after his word and when you obey his word. When God speaks to you in your heart and you obey his word. When you have a heart to want to listen to what God is saying, and to want to to want to meditate on his word and to want to hear the voice of God and to to want to live your life as a sheep that's being led forth by a shepherd because God is that great shepherd who leads the sheep we are we are the sheep God is the shepherd we're led by the shepherd's voice and God tells us in the book of John that his sheep know his voice in a stranger's voice, he we won't follow. Which which all goes ties in back to verse one about not standing in the path of evildoers or sinners, not being influenced by that, but being influenced by God's voice. Because when we're in the hand of God, nothing nothing can snatch you out of God's hand. So no weapon formed against you shall prosper nothing that that satan does can take you out of god's hand nothing that satan does has the power to harm you when you come up under god's authority when you live your life un, under the blessing of god then god will honor you he's going to put his blessing upon you he's going to put his protection around you and everything that's in your life is going to be covered by the word of god which lives and abides forever so i just pray that 
you know, as you hear the word of God this morning, that you really take it into your heart. You let it sink into your heart. You really take it in. I pray that you receive it, that you, you would continue to develop a lifestyle of meditating on the word of God, to let the word of God come into your heart, a lifestyle of prayer, of communicating with God so that you can you can hear you can hear the voice of God and be led by the voice of the shepherd the voice of your father who loves you God's love for his people is it's amazing it's so great for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that he gave us Jesus Christ that whoever believed in him they would not perish they would not perish but they will have eternal life so in that verse three that leaf that does not wither but that's always green that tree that's always bearing fruit that's a representation of the eternal life that we have through jesus when we're connected in to the root when we're, when we're connected into the root which is god we'll be like that tree that's bearing that fruit and in the book of john jesus also told us to Continue to abide in him, to stay in him that we might bear fruit. So I pray and I hope that I'm speaking to you, speaking to you this morning and that you would just receive it and continue receiving the word of God. Because the word of God is food for our spirit. It's food for our soul. We need the word of God to live and to thrive. We need that. We need that spiritual food. Not only do we need natural food, as we wake up in the morning and we eat breakfast, we need that spiritual food. We need to put the word of God in our body so we can be led forth as wise people, as the people of God, so we can wake up and truly realize who we are and what our purpose is in this earth, in this time, in this season, in each day. So I just... I want to let everybody know that, hey, God loves you today, that you are special, that you are called out, that you are chosen. I speak a blessing over you today. I say that the power of God is with you. I say that the spirit of God is with you. I say that whatever you do will prosper because God is, has made you an obedient people. So with that, I just say, have a great day. And... The grace of the Lord be with you. In the name of Jesus, amen.